you can't tell on where an apparition is going to be. There's no sort of typical place. Although with the history of apparitions, it's usually in a place that is, uh, forgive the saying, in the middle of nowhere. You're very welcome to Knox Rhine. My name is Anne-Marie and I'm your tour guide here this morning. I actually love telling people the story of the apparition. They may have heard of Knock in passing, and they think, Knock, K-N-O-C-K, Knock, what is this place? What has happened here? The village of Knock itself, it has that aura. You come into the place, it's, you see religion all around you. But uh, the people that live here are no different than anybody else. That's the book we have on purgatory. And you know, you need to be sitting down when you're reading that book. It just gets you to get your life in order, because we're living in very strange times, as you know. I certainly have no difficulty with people. If they want to claim they've had a miracle cure and not, that's fine. But we still have to apply scientific medical criteria. I was completely paralyzed. They put me right in front of the statue of Our Lady of Knock. My two legs swung out and I stood up straight. Someday we would hope it would be like Lourdes. I don't know will we ever get the same amount of pilgrims coming here. Because the faith of Ireland has been such a big part of the heritage of the Archdiocese of New York, it's kind of natural that we'd say, you know what? We ought to make Knock a particularly attractive uh, goal for pilgrimages, and I'm glad we're doing it. Even if I never went to Knock, I would always know that Our Lady was with me all the time. And then to get working in Knock, was like out of this world.